I'm vengeance. What's happening guys? My name is Glenn Higgins, creator of Get Kids Moving, the ultimate superhero and Star Wars workout channel. Welcome back to another episode of Backstage Pass, where we like to take you behind the scenes to show you a little bit more of how we create our workouts. There'll be prop making, costume creating, and tons of reviews of all the collectibles that we use in our workouts. So if this is something that interests you, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to keep updated with all our future content. So today, I have had a very, very special delivery to the Get Kids Moving HQ. Inside this box is a Batman cowl and collar set from the awesome guys at Ministry of Mars. I cannot tell you how excited I am about this. So excited that I did actually open it up and have a little peek inside. Because, well to be honest, I just couldn't help myself. But I haven't fully got it out, I haven't put it on, I haven't really looked at the detail of it or anything like that. We're gonna do that today, together. I must just add, I'm not being paid for this. Ministry of Mars very kindly sent me this cow to review on the channel. So I'm gonna be completely honest in my review. But let's stop talking about it. Let's open this box up and let's check out this Batman cow. Okay. Oh my word. Okay, so it comes in two parts. I'm gonna show you the less exciting part of it, which is the collar, but equally as important. So straight away I can feel how sturdy and actually quite rigid this latex that they built this out of is. I don't know if you can see the detailing. Let's put that right to the camera there. There we go. It's got a great kind of leather grain to it. You can see the kind of stitching around the edges. And you've got the little tabs there just to sort of attach the cape sort of neatly. Looks really cool. Okay, we're gonna put that down and we're obviously gonna look at the main piece to this, which I've got to say, even by just looking at it like this, it is bloody awesome. Box down. Okay, guys, this is the Ministry of Mars Batman cowl. Let's put that right up to the camera there. Look at the detail in that. You see all that kind of stitching leather of the of the cowl there. They've got that grain going on there again, like the like the collar. And it actually you can see. You can see the, the weathering there, the scratches from kind of battles. They've really, really nailed that. Looks incredible. Let's get a little closer look at those, those scuff marks you've got there. I don't know if you can see that there on the top and just round the sides there. Look at that. Just on the top of the eye there as well. A little bit round the back. Absolutely amazing. I am so impressed with that. Now I will be putting this on as well, just to show you what it looks like and how it fits. Now on the website, they do say that the ideal head circumference is 23.5 inches, which weirdly enough is exactly the circumference of my head. Um, <clears throat> so they do say that if, if it is if your head's a little bit bigger, it might be a bit of a struggle to wear. Um, but if mine is 23.5, then hopefully this will fit absolutely perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that, get the cardboard out of it. There we go, right, okay. I'm such a fan of that detailing they've got there. Look at it. Funnily enough, the first time I saw the unveiling of the Robert Pattinson Batman suit. I just wasn't sure about it. I wasn't completely sold. And actually, the one thing I thought really didn't look right was the cowl and the collar with the cape. But having seen the film, 
it just fitted perfectly within that kind of time of when he was like two years into his Batman role. And I think, you know, it was a kind of mishmash put together suit. And I think it, it just really fit perfectly. You know, it wasn't this kind of slick, you know, Christopher Nolan suit. It was a it was a more, you know, do it yourself suit that he put together. And it just worked. And I think it, you know, in my opinion, that Batman film is incredible. I love it. I mean, I I love the grittiness, the the grimy kind of version of Gotham that we got there and you know and how it took Batman back to being that detective it was just it was just an incredible film and the you know the other suit I've actually used in a lot of my workouts is actually the Ben Affleck suit which I think is a great suit I love that suit I think it's a great look but I don't know I'm really coming round to this new suit and especially this cow and funnily enough, I've actually now started to create a cosplay for this Batman. And um, this is actually going to be the final piece of the puzzle for that suit. It's the first project, big project, that I've done with EVA foam. So I've, I've made all the armour out of EVA foam. And I'm just, I'm really, really pleased with it. I'm, I can't wait to show you guys as well. I will be doing a full unveiling video of me in that suit and you'll be able to see what it looks like with this cow and all the rest of it together. So I'm looking forward to showing you that guys. Now if you haven't heard of Ministry of Masks, they are actually a London based company and they really are masters of their craft. I mean I will put a link to their Instagram and their website down below. Go and check them out they are just incredible. They've got so many different masks, so many, it's such a wide range of masks. If you want a mask for Halloween, that's the place to go. I mean, their latex masks, just incredible. They've also got Bane masks as well, which I'm very, very interested to get my hands on. Honestly, they're really, really awesome guys. Um, and this just shows just how incredible their work really is. Okay, so I think what we need to do is get this cowl on, just to see what the shape is like, the fit. Obviously, ignore the fact I've got a bit of a beard going on. I will be a little bit more shaven when I actually cosplay this, but I think we need to see exactly what this awesome cow looks like when it's on. Let's do it. And there we have it. The Robert Pattinson Batman cow. Check this out. Oh my God. This looks incredible. I am so, so happy with this. Let me get a little bit closer to the camera just so you can see just how that fits and the detailing around there. Now, obviously I haven't got the eyes blacked out. Got a bit of a beard going on as well, but you get the idea. You get the shape of that. It actually, weirdly enough, feels pretty comfy and fits onto the, to the collar there as well. And once you've got your cape on there, that will attach there. I am so, so pleased with this. My word, they have done, they have absolutely, Ministry of Mars, you have absolutely nailed this. What a job you have done on this. And now obviously, with any latex mask, especially Batman cows, always a bit of a job to get it on but these stretch pretty well. They don't feel like you're gonna snap or rip anything, but they've got a good stretch to it, so it's pretty easy to get it over your face and then secure it on. And then once it's on, I mean, look at it. I'm so, so pleased with this. I and mean, you can probably tell that. God, it looks mean, mean as hell. Once again, thank you so much, Ministry of Mars, for sending me this. I mean, you have just absolutely nailed it. I can't wait to put my whole Batman costume together. I can't wait to go to my first Comic Con wearing this. I think it is gonna go down an absolute storm. And like I said, I will do a full unveiling video of this cow with the rest of the suit. 
just so you can see the finished product of that. I mean, come on guys, absolutely incredible. The Robert Pattinson Batman cowl. Thank you as always for watching. And if you like that video, please give us a like, subscribe and ring that bell to keep updated with all our future content. See you all soon.